Good morning, good morning. As the songwriter says, and I know that all things work together for my good. Do you believe that this morning? Well, you should. If you are in Christ, you should always believe that everything will work out for your good. Don't be dismayed by what you see or what's going on around you or what you're facing because God will work it out for your good. Good morning, it's Monday and I'm titling a series or going to start a series called Motivation Mondays. So it's just a little segment that I'll take out just to motivate you guys because we all need a, some motivation. We need some encouragement. If you're going through, we need to be lifted up. So we're going to take the time on Mondays, whenever you're tuning in, in the morning, afternoon, evening, and we're going to motivate one another. You know, sometimes we go through a hard week and then we have our weekend and as soon as Monday gets here, most of us, we return to work, we return to school and it seems like, ugh. Do I have to go through this? And you think about the long week that you have ahead of you. And it can get a little discouraging sometimes. We all go through it. Hey, we're human. We're clothed in flesh. So we go through the things of this world. And sometimes we just need a little pick-me-up. Something other than coffee. For some, coffee is their pick-me-up. Pick but you know, sometimes we just need to be encouraged and know that we have a great God. We have the true and living God. The same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. We have him on our side. We have him as our defense. And we have his word that we can rely on in the time of need. So we shouldn't be dismayed. We shouldn't be deterred in our minds and down and in the dumps we should always have that joy and that peace and know that his word will not return to him void his word will accomplish what is what it was set out to do so with that being said we should be full of joy we should be encouraged to know that we have a father that is always there Remember his word said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. So we must trust and believe that he is always there. We must have that faith and know that even though we don't see him, we might not even feel his presence, but he is always there and he's never going to allow anything to overcome us, to overtake us. That's not going to happen. So we need to get out of that stinking thinking to trust in the Lord. Amen? Yes. So I'm on my way to work. Um, had a long weekend. I worked throughout the weekend. Sunday was my only day off. But I'm in a good mood today. Good. I'm in good spirit. I woke up this morning to the word. I usually let it play overnight. Um, some motivational scriptures or scriptures of peace um, scriptures if you're going through anxiety scriptures to war off evil presences you know every night I try to choose a different one and I listen to that while I sleep now when I say I listen to that while I sleep although the physical man is sleeping my spirit is awake and my spirit is being fed. My spirit is being connected by the word. So I let the word of God play throughout the night as, you know, me and my family, we sleep. Um, I started a new thing now where I also keep the word playing throughout the day. I just have, um, not quite sure what channel it is. it is on YouTube, but I let it play throughout the day when we're gone and no one's at the home so the presence of the Lord can always remain in my home at all times and 
maybe you should try it because it does help. I come home and there's just a peace. I can feel the presence of the Lord. I feel him all around me. So I know that that is helping, you know, to ward off those evil spirits, you know, even when you're not at home. How many of you believe that the spirits are still lurking? They're still lurking, trying to do what they do. So you got to have the presence of the Lord around you at all times. Let it permeate your home. You know, another good thing is to anoint your home on a regular basis. Um, I always do it at the beginning of each year and throughout the year when I feel something a little bit off. You know, I pick it up in my spirit and I'll anoint my home. I mean, the entire home, every window, every doorpost, every point of entry to my home, I anoint it with my oil. I pray throughout my house. Sometimes it's just a regular prayer of peace and just thanking the Holy Spirit for abiding with us. And sometimes it's warfare because you pick up spirits that are there illegally they have no right in my home you know i don't serve the devil so he has no right in my home and his imps have no right in my home you know it's a sanctuary that the holy spirit is is always present the holy spirit is there the holy spirit lives within me and my family members so we don't give illegal access to intruders and demons and Satan, they are intruders and they don't belong in my house. And I'm not scared to tell them that they don't belong in my house. But um, sometimes we got to do things to encourage ourselves. We have to do things to uplift our, ourselves. You know, sometimes we can't always look to others for that encouragement or that, that prayer. You know, we, we got to take... We got to take control of our own lives and we got to take control of what's going on around us and in us. You know, we can't be fearful and so laid back when it comes to the things of the spirit. So we must take control. And when you take control, you have to encourage yourself. So today I'm just reaching out to whoever's listening, whoever's watching, and I'm just giving you some advice to take control of your thoughts, take control of your atmosphere, who you have around you. Sometimes we have the wrong people around us, people that are saying things that bring us down. You know, take stock of who you're listening to, what you're watching, and the people that you're around, your influences, take stock of that because a lot of times you'll find you get around certain people and your spirit is down. You know, sometimes these people are not for you. They claim to be for you, but they're not for you. And therefore, you know, your spirit is down. You feel depressed. You feel oppressed. You might even feel a little intimidation. You know, you, the, all hell might be breaking loose around you when you're around certain people. So we need to really be in tune with what's going on. Sometimes you may watch a program and after you watch this program, you have all kinds of crazy thoughts or you want to do things that you might not have done before you know we have to be in control of our surroundings what we're allowing into our spirit who we're allowing you know in our sphere you know who we have around us who's talking to us who are we listening to who are we getting our advice from we got to be careful and in, in these days we got to be careful it's very important Remember, the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And when I say the enemy, remember that he 
is a spirit and he uses people and you know through their spirit he's able to make you depressed he's able to project thoughts into your mind you know that are not of God thoughts that you know make you depressed and make you feel down and make you do things that you wouldn't wouldn't necessarily do so we got to be careful we got to take stock of who's around us who we're allowing you know to come and sometimes minister to us or communicate with us on a daily basis we really need to be careful um i'm hoping that you all had a great weekend that you were all in church on sunday listening to sound word you know not the word of that's coming from someone's opinions or their own mind but the true adulterated word of God that is in our Bibles you know sometimes I've I've been to churches and you have someone that's preaching a word you know giving a word or teaching and it sounds good but it's not the word of God this is you know more time based off of their opinions how they were raised but it's not the word of God. So people, we got to be careful of who we're listening to, who's ministering to us. We got to be careful. And that's why we need to know the word. The word of God says to study the word so we can show ourselves approved. We have to study that word. We cannot rightfully divide the word if we don't know the words so we have to study the word and i'm not saying that we read and we know everything because we'll never know ev and everything we'll never know um everything about god or we never get to the point where we feel that we don't need to learn anything else and if we're at that point then we really need to check ourselves because there's no one here on earth that knows everything and that is okay and they've arrived there's no one so we all need to be learning no matter where you are in Christ whether you were saved 50 years ago whether you were saved two years ago we all have room to learn there's still plenty of growth no one has arrived yet so I just wanted to take this time just to encourage you just to tell you don't don't give up don't be so quick to throw in the towel you know the word of god says they what is it um those that endure till the end will renew their wings like eagles they shall run and not faint they shall walk and not grow weary so we need to remember that we need to remember that we can endure to the end God has given us the strength he's graced us that we can go through we can live a good life and life more abundantly that's what his word says so once again just coming this Monday just to encourage you just to lift up your spirits and remember, have a great day. Be blessed. Know that you have God and God has you. And nothing can overcome you. Nothing. Nothing. You got to have it in your mind that nothing will overcome you. Nothing will overtake you. You know, stay prayerful. Sometimes if you get in that place where you don't feel... You don't feel so good turn on some worship music turn on some praise music you know if you're at work you might not be in an atmosphere where you can listen to music depending on your work environment um you know i work in an office and i'm usually there by myself i do have a client but he's always in the living room area and i'm in my office doing my work and you know, I listen to my gospel music, I listen to sermons, and 
you know, I, I stay encouraged. Might not always be a great day, but I try to listen to something that's going to uplift me and make me feel good about myself and remind me of God's promises. So there's always something out there that we can do to uplift ourselves. It never has to be the end all be all. So that's today's motivation. Hoping that you guys will tune in and don't forget to subscribe and like and share and click on that bell so you received all of the no notifications and you'll never miss an upload. So I'm going to say goodbye for now and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.